My understanding is that African environment's motivation for coming around the left-hand side of this rock and coming up this way, from continuing that route as normal, is that they believed, and I've seen them mark on a, a very low-resolution photograph, they believed that the accident happened over here. Now, if you take a photograph from there and you look up this way, it's quite believable that the accident could have happened over there, because from that distance, this looks like a pretty uniform slope. And you might be forgiven for thinking that rockfall originating there comes straight down and impacts on people climbing over there. Hopefully, from this footage, you can see that actually this is the centre of a ridge. I don't know how I can make that clear here on a two-dimensional screen, but uh, it's quite clear. You can see from there, it's a ridge moving down here. Now, while you're on that ridge, you're safe from rockfall, because unless you're at the very top where the rockfall might originate, and that's not even likely, unless you're at the very top, by the time the rock meets you here, it will certainly have moved down either one side or the other. Gravity always pulls rocks into gullies. Now, you can see there's a little narrow gully here, and the rock has come down and accumulated just over here. You can see quite large rocks. Now, our theory is that if you cross the entrance very quickly and then move down the safety of ridge lines and then there, cross that re-entrance re very quickly and move straight down the safety of that ridge line to the point at which you reattain the original route where it's, everyone agrees it's safe, that's the safest possible way of getting here. Arguably, it's slightly more risky from the point of view of being hit by falling rock, but I would say that comparing the footage I've just taken out on the other side of this stone train, the likelihood of somebody falling because their footwork is careless or because they don't have experience at moving up ice is far more likely than rock falling on somebody over here. See, originally the route went quite wide out there, and nobody was aware before that this is actually the source of the rockfall. Even this morning at 10 to 8, I saw rockfall coming down here, and it was quite alarming because it bounced, and it was bouncing, I don't know, maybe three to five meters high uh, when it was deflecting off rocks. And if you can imagine, this line from this rockfall impacted directly on the route. The route followed the rockfall line for quite a long time before swinging out towards us here. So the safest possible route, still in my opinion, is to cross the street entrance, follow that ridge down, and I suggest we clear the path a little bit. We put lots of cairns, and we scrape away the loose stones so people are less likely to slip. And we also make a very narrow zigzag. So from this point, um, sorry, there, from this point here, we would zigzag down this ridge to there. And then we'd cross that re-entrant and we'd zigzag further down. I noticed that rockfall coming from this source here that killed the people came down this way and it went round the to the point at which it intersects the route at 5080. So you're quite safe all over there. Even though you feel like you're only 50 metres from the accident site, it's nonetheless very safe.